with tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, Volkanovski's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Straight punch land. Look at him drive his shin into the corner spot. These guys throwing early. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Outstanding combination from the all-action Justin Gaethje. All-action really does define Justin Gaethje. He is the most exciting guy in the entire UFC. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with his beautiful leg kick. Effective punch there by Gaethje. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Shot is blocked there by Volkanovsky. He is... He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys... That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big power shot there. up, but he looks dazed, he looks confused. He blocks the punch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Shot lands upstairs. 15 seconds. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. So a strong five minutes down. So a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity. All right, here we go now, champ. Round two, Alexander Volkanovsky versus Justin Gaethje. Volkanovsky gets... Still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Oh! Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. So we pull up. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That oh, top. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, head kick blocked by Gaethje. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over two minutes now to go. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and he caught the kick. Boy, Ty Plump. Gate cheese kick attempt there, blocked. And just misses with that big right hand. There's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you come the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big ball from Crunch Land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC today. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique is beautiful when he strikes. Oh, he heard a belly jab. Beautiful body kick. Oh, All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight position. Oh, shoot shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Back to his feet. Gaethje gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James. His opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes now for Justin Gaethje. And connecting on just 35% of his attempts against Alexander Volkanovsky. Just an absolute.